Okay, this video is on how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.7 for the Verizon iPhone 4. It's using Snowbreeze and it's completely untethered. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to the link in my video description on how to get Snowbreeze and the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Okay, the first thing you'll need to download is Snowbreeze, which will be at hot file. It's in the video description. Just click regular download. Wait 15 seconds. And the second thing you'll need is iOS 4.2.7, which is right there. Click to download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. And download. Save both of these to your desktop so it'll be easy to find. Okay, so once you have those downloaded, let's close, minimize it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is click Snowbreeze. Okay, close credits. Next, you can either browse or you can drag the firmware file to your in there where it says IPSW. I'm going to pull it over here. It's over here. Drag it in there or browse it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to browse it. I'm sorry. Okay. So whenever it pulls this up, it'll say 4.2.7 AE303 IPSW verified. Click the next button. And there's two things right here. I recommend clicking simple mode and then clicking next. It says, Do you want to activate? Oops, sorry about that. I don't want to activate. If you want to activate your iPhone, you can. Like if you're not on Verizon or whatever, just click yes, but I'm going to click no. This will take a little while to extract all of this. It'll take a long while, so don't, don't give up on it. It'll finish. Okay. So since I've already got that done, I'm going to cancel this and close this out. Okay. When it finishes completing and everything it'll put this file on your desktop right here that's your custom firmware and it will also put your phone into pawn DFU mode so after you've got both of those files and your phone is in pawn DFU mode or DFU mode um, click iTunes plug your phone up Having to shoot this video with one iPhone and plug another iPhone up. So let me put this down for a second. And it should say something like this. Just give it a second. And it should say iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Click OK. Okay, so you'll need to hold the shift button and click restore. It should bring up this. You'll need to click the snow breeze and click open. And it says this. And then click restore. Let it extract software and then I'll be back. Okay, as it prefers your phone for restore, it should say something like this. Okay. Now it has just finished. It says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and restarting. Please leave your iPhone connecting. It will appear in iTunes in just a moment or something. So here we are. It's restarting. Let's see if it's untethered. Okay, here we go. In case you're wondering, yes, I have an OtterBox. It is pink because this is my girlfriend's iPhone that I'm using to record this video. Ah, and here we are. Now as you can see it says connect to iTunes. It's searching. Let's see here. What we have. Okay. 
waiting for activation. Now this is normal with Verizon, so let's slide down lock, dismiss, and there's Cydia. So once it prepares the file system, I will be right back. Now we're back. As you can see, 4.2.7. Close all this. Cydia works. Turn it off. Now, let's see it be untethered and see it work afterwards. Okay. Turn it back on. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, and it's back on. Slide down lock. Cydia, no crash out. Okay, so your phone is now jailbroken. Please write, comment, subscribe. Hope this video helped you. And if you want to know more, like whenever the next jailbreak for the next firmware will be out, you can add me at Dwayne's World on Twitter. Thank you.